Hi, this is Björn from Gilmerish.com. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. You can also follow Gilmerish.com on Facebook and please do check out my own page BjornRees.com as well. Today we're going to talk about David Gilmore's delay sounds. I get a lot of questions about how to set up different delays for the different eras. And obviously David's using a lot of different textures and layers and stuff like that. But we're going to break it down into four different time signatures, which is, which is sort of the essentials. So um, for the early era, 1968 to uh, 78, we're going to try to replicate the old Binson, which uh, had 310 milliseconds as the maximum time uh, on uh, the single head. Uh, and uh, for the, the wall, we're going to have two different delays. 380 milliseconds for Run Like Hell and 440 milliseconds for Another Brick in the Wall, which is uh, sort of the time signature for most of the album. At this point, David's using um, an MXR digital delay for those pristine and accurate time settings and uh, repeats. Moving on to the 80s and 90s, he uh, used, mostly used the rack units, the, uh, the lexicon, the TC stuff, and, and also the MXR. Uh, we're going to use Coming Back to Life as a reference. Um, the, uh, the tap tempo for that song is 700 milliseconds. And you can also use that for uh, songs like On the Turning Away and Sorrow and stuff like that. Uh, you probably want to have um, six or seven repeats. Uh, anything more will, will often mess up your, your single. Uh, the, the volume depends on obviously the, what sort of song you're playing, what sort of part uh, and also the headroom in your rig. So you have to adjust that accordingly. I'm going to start each clip with a reference and then sort of implement that into each song. So without further ado, here's the delay sounds.
Thank you. 